Welcome to the uh, Savage Nation. What you're about to hear today on the Savage Nation is history in the making. There is no precedent for this in American history. It is a successful attempt to censor and throttle the media by party leaders. Now, in the past, party spokesmouths have attempted to spin the media. But never before has the leadership itself applied such pressure to cover up their own failures. This is a naked conspiracy of the most transparent evil being conducted by Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, Harry Reid, Charles Schumer. The entire Democrat Party is pressuring a media outlet to take a show off the air, completely censoring it. It's unprecedented. It is history making. It is the ex-Soviet Union come to pass in the United States of America. Now, the only reason you are not hearing this viewpoint that I am presenting to you on Fox News, and I'm using Fox as an example because in your minds they're conservative, is because the government media complex is one giant entity. Moreover, Fox News does not want you to pay too much attention to this because it will appear Sunday night, if it still does appear, on a competitive network on CBS. And so you're in a trap. Where are you going to get truth about this? Where are you going to get the context? You listen to one spokesmouth after another on Fox News, and they're turning it into a joke, just a gigantic joke. This is not a joke. This is the Soviet Union come to pass in the United States of America. And I'll repeat to you, I've never seen anything like it. It is a party, an entire political party, bringing pressure upon a media network telling Disney ABC, pull a series, we don't like the way you're portraying us. Never happened here before. It's Izvestia. It is Pravda. It is a lie. Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton are behind this lie because they've carefully constructed a spider web of lies about who they are. Sandy Berger is a criminal. He was caught stealing secrets out of the National Archives. He appears on Wolf Blitzer's show, one of his good buddies, and Wolf doesn't even raise the issue of the National Archives. That phony little department store dummy, Wolf Blitzer. A useful tool of the Democrat Party machine. If you stay with me today, you're going to hear things that you'll hear nowhere else, including a speech yours truly gave on March 12, 1997, before the Commonwealth Club, where I tried to warn America about the government media complex. We found the speech. We pulled it out of the archives. Maybe some of you were there. It was history in the making. C-SPAN wasn't there. NPR wasn't there. They pulled their cameras and they pulled their microphones when I appeared because they're all part of the government media complex. Let's listen carefully. Go. I don't think this is just a question of fixing something along the, around the edges, Wolf. I mean, my impression is that this is a misleading film uh, to, to the core. Uh, and it seems to me the only appropriate thing at this point is for ABC uh, to withdraw the series. When it comes it be to withdrawn. something as serious and historically significant as 9-11, the truth is enough. And we ought to stick yeah. to the facts because right. yeah. uh, we do a uh -huh. disservice to ourselves. Yeah. And future generations. Okay, Hitler, we, we get it, Hitler. You know, don't tell people what actually happened. And I don't want any lies in there parading as truth. That's all. Look who's talking and, about truth. And, and I don't think that there should be any scenes in a, in a movie that pretends to be based on the 9 11 Commission report that are directly contradicted by the 9 11 Commission report. Bottom line is that they say things that aren't true about Madeleine Albright, what they've said about her, about Sandy Berger. You can't take a film that's supposed to report on something that's so real and so close and make it into fiction. That's beneath ABC's dignity. There's a crisis in the White House. If it gets out, you leaked it. And to save the election, just gotta distract them. They have to fake a war. You're kidding. It looks real. When it's cooking, it's cooking. It sounds real. Give me some screaming. It just never happened. You're the man. Newsweek calls it the most wickedly entertaining movie of the season. Ooh. Dustin Hoffman, Robert De Niro. How would you like an ambassadorship? <laughs> Wag the dog. Rated R. Well, what happened here is the dog is getting wagged by Clinton, Berger, Bill, Schumer. Robert De Niro, I understand, is being wheeled out uh, to uh, narrate something on 9-11. A very reliable source, Robert De Niro, don't you know? I don't know whether maybe they can dig Dustin Hoffman up from one of his stupors 
uh, out in Los Angeles and, and wheel that old hag out for something. Maybe he could play Ratso Rizzo again and give us the truth on world affairs. But I'm warning you. I'm warning you this is a tipping point in the American media. There's no precedent for this in American history. If they succeed, well, they've succeeded already in censoring and changing scenes inside this docudrama. But Berger, as you well know, was caught stealing documents out of the National Archives, and we, we pretty much know what they are now. We spent the whole day researching it. Basically, Berger was stealing documents uh, because they were bad for business. Berger was a trade lawyer before Bill Clinton made him our protector, our national security advisor. Can you believe that? Can you believe a man would take a lawyer working for a trade firm and make him the national security advisor? By definition, the man is compromised. Because if it's bad for business, he's going to make sure that that bill doesn't get passed or that act doesn't happen. We have information on Berger. We have information on Harold Ickes. We have information on George Stephanopoulos. And they're all involved, all involved in weakening us in our ability to defend ourselves. That's right. And I have all the information here, and I'm going to cover it today on the Savage Nation. Again, what you're going to hear today is history in the making. No precedent for this in American history. Censoring, throttling the media by party leaders. Did you hear Harry Reid play clip two? They started off with this as being a documentary. They changed it to a docudrama, and now it's a work of fiction, and that's what it is. And yes, they should pull it. It's interesting, as I understand it. Hold it. Did it, you hear what he just said? Harry Reid says they should pull a documentary series, a docudrama series off the air? The government is pressuring a media outlet to take a series off the air? Do you understand the danger you are in or not? Well, here's what's going to happen. The Democrats are going to say, well, well, it's untrue, and therefore it should be pulled. It's not fair. The Democrats are going to say that this is not censorship. They only want the truth. That's the Democrats for you. Anything that criticizes them and alters the reality that they live in, which is an altered reality to begin with, they will do everything in their power to destroy that person or to destroy that media enterprise. And I want to reiterate what I said to you yesterday. I was once on a Disney station in San Francisco. Disney is as far left as they come. It can't get any more left-wing than ABC. It doesn't go farther to the left than ABC. And yet Hillary is about to paint ABC as a right-wing, part of the vast right-wing conspiracy now, simply because she doesn't like the way her and her husband or her husband is portrayed or some of his minions are portrayed or the fact that he was distracted with uh, sex in the White House. Excuse me, he didn't have sex in the White House. Pardon me. Pardon me, whatever he did or didn't do in the White House. She doesn't like any of it because the carefully constructed spider web is starting to fall off the roof. Disney ABC is as far to the left as they come. I'm not on any ABC stations, which is astounding, given the fact that I'm in the top three of uh, talk radio shows in the country. Why would I not be on one ABC station in the whole country? Think about it. A guy as popular as me is not on any, any ABC affiliates? There's a reason. They censored me. They censored me. So they're far left. It's a far left outfit, ABC. And yet even they are under attack by Harry Reid, Charles Schumer, Bill Clinton, Richard Benveniste, whoever that.